Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and welcome to the Salamander Wilds. And of course, I'm referring to the outdoors because as I've said in my previous Salamander Adventure videos, being out here, there are so many places to find salamanders in some of the least unlikely places and to some of the more breathtaking places. So in this video, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to be, of course, looking for a few different salamanders and a few other things, but I actually wanted to break out the new GoPro that I just got recently and compare some of that footage to the older model that I was using. And not even just the GoPro, but I've had a few comments asking about the cameras that I use. So I figured this would just be a really good chance to talk about the different cameras that I'm using, when I'm using them and why, and just kind of go into a little more detail about that sort of thing. And I figured setting out to find some salamanders would be a really great opportunity to do that. Yeah, so with all that said, I'm actually at a location that presents a really nice variety of salamander species. And I'm gonna be looking for three different salamanders, two of which are aquatic stream-dwelling salamanders and the other is completely terrestrial. I'm gonna be looking for the redback salamander, the two-line salamander, and the dusky salamander. And this just really gives me a great opportunity to show when I'm using the different cameras and under different circumstances. But before I do that, I actually wanna show some footage that I recorded a little while back actually, before coming to this location. I found a vernal pool in this swampy, marshy area that was filled to the brim with so many tadpoles. And I used the old GoPro and the new GoPro, so I figured this would actually be a really nice comparison to do and just really get to share that with all of you. So before I continue on at this location, check out that footage and I'll talk a little bit more about that afterwards. All right, yeah, I think that was some really great underwater footage of those tadpoles. And I don't know the species of those frogs offhand. I'm not really the greatest when it comes to identifying frogs as tadpoles, but I do know what's in the area. There's spring peepers, chorus frogs, pickerel frogs, wood frogs, green frogs. It could be a number of things. So maybe if someone knows what they are from the footage, let me know in the comments section. I would definitely appreciate that. And uh, I just think the footage overall had a really big difference. And to be fair, maybe it's not the greatest comparison because I'm not comparing 
the new GoPro to the previous model, but just for me personally, upgrading from that much older model to this new one that shoots up to 5K video, the difference in footage is just so much more crisp and clear. I think it's really, really great. So I just want to be able to share that with everyone. I'm gonna continue on and I'm gonna set out to find the redback salamander first, a lungless salamander, meaning that it breathes through its skin. And this one is completely terrestrial, meaning it lacks an aquatic larval stage. It is completely terrestrial from the moment that it hatches. And I'm gonna just search right around here, flip over some branches and some logs and see what I can find. So I'm gonna start by recording with my Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. It shoots in 4K and up to 8K as well. And that's what I'm using to record right now. And I'll start by flipping this branch right here. I just flipped it a moment ago. There's actually two redback salamanders under here. And what we'll see is that it's actually really awesome because we can see both color morphs present here. This really nice large red back and you can see the red stripe which is where it gets its name. Right here we can see this one lacks the lead stripe and that is known as the lead back. So again two different color morphs but they are the same species of salamander. So I'll set up my camera and get some nice footage of these really really awesome salamanders. I think I got some pretty nice footage of those redback salamanders. And again, I was using the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, and I was recording that in 4K. So with that, I'm gonna move on to the two-lined salamander and the dusky salamander. And wow, I gotta say, this is definitely one of my favorite areas to go hiking though. Really, really incredible scenery and of course, a lot of different salamanders to find here. There's, again, duskies, two lines, redbacks, and there's actually northern reds here, which for me personally have been pretty tough to find. I'm hoping to find a northern red soon and really get to showcase that on this channel, but time will tell. I'm definitely gonna make it an effort to get a northern red on video. It's a really incredibly beautifully vibrant salamander and a very large salamander so it'll be really really awesome to find one of those but anyway i'm gonna press on and find those two line salamanders and duskies so coming from the terrestrial habitat of the redback salamander i've made my way down here to the stream and underneath any of these flat rocks there is the possibility of finding a two-line salamander. They are also a lungless salamander, meaning they breathe through their skin, except these salamanders have an aquatic larval stage, so they require clean flowing streams such as this. And the adults will live in the nearby area and they will lay their eggs under rocks. So I'm actually gonna flip over some of these rocks and see if we can land one of these really nice salamanders, a completely different color from the redback. They have a nice sort of bronze, almost golden yellowish color. 
So let's see what we can find here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, right here. Hold on. So this is actually going to be a little tricky. Nope, 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 nope. Ah. So many places it can hide and get away. Uh, 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 uh. Almost, almost, almost. This is a struggle. Come here. Come here. Nope, 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 nope. This is going to be tough. There you are. Come on. Ah, oh, 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 so close, so close. No, 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 no. Nope. <laughs> ah, there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> All right. Last chance, I'm assuming, here. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> wow. So many ways this salamander can get away. But this is a two-lined salamander. So I'm going to record this using my Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra as well in 4K and get some nice footage of this really awesome salamander. All right, so some pretty awesome footage of that two-line salamander. Now, dusky salamanders also share the same type of habitat. They are also stream-dwelling salamanders. However, I haven't found duskies in this particular stream at this area. I'm actually gonna just move on ahead to a different stream at this location and look for the dusky salamander there. And then I'm gonna record that with the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra as well. And then from there, I'm going to compare some footage from my Nikon camera that I have, and I'll go into more detail about that camera afterwards. Okay, so I've actually just arrived at the location where I'm going to be finding the dusky salamanders, and I actually had to do quite a bit of backtracking. I went to a different stream where I didn't find anything, and I probably should have just come here to begin with. But we could see how the stream feeds from up there and then comes down to the stream here and if we take a look there's a lot of rocks that I can flip and I probably won't even have to go far to actually find something this looks like a pretty good rock right here let's see what's underneath oh oh there's one right there yep Ooh. Yep, here we go. Look at that. That is a really nice sized dusky salamander. Whoa, whoa, easy there, easy. I bet if I keep talking to them, they'll understand. <laughs> Not really, but look at that. And you can see it's got some really, really nice coloration going on here. Some really deep reddish browns on the back and then on the side, it's got some nice white speckling. So let me put this down, get some really good footage of this, give you all a really nice close-up and take a look at this really awesome salamander in 4k with the samsung galaxy s21 ultra
Okay, I think I got some really great footage of the salamander, so let me put this little fella back. Don't want to stress him out anymore. There you go, right where I found you. Awesome. All right, really, really good stuff. Now, I think the footage from the Samsung Galaxy is really great footage. It can shoot in up to 8K video, so the quality of the footage is really crisp, clean, clear, really sharp, but there's also something about the Nikon that I use. I'm using the Nikon D5600, and I don't really tweak the settings all that much on the Nikon. I keep most of it on automatic, and when I'm recording with it, I'm really just using the manual focus. At this point, I'm gonna wrap up the video here and roll some Nikon footage that I got of a leadback color morph redback salamander. And I was able to get some pretty nice close-up detail of this really awesome salamander. So let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. I think I was able to showcase quite nicely the different species across the different pieces of footage that I was able to get. And just let me know what you think about the detail and quality across the different cameras. And so with that said, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, share, and again, comment down below. Let me know what you think. And of course, please subscribe. Your support is very much appreciated. And until next time, I hope you'll all join me again for another adventure into the Salamander Wilds.